Deployed to Iraq three times. Spent most of that time on all three deployments in Baghdad. When he had to go to Iraq, I was mortified. I didn't know what to think. I was part of the initial invasion of Iraq in 2003, in 2003 2006, 2006, 2008. Oh, the day that I came home from Afghanistan, wow, I was, I was something. You know, eventually I, I couldn't pay the rent. I started living on the streets, sleeping in alleys. It's amazing, but there are Iraq and Afghanistan veterans who are homeless. I was in a convoy and was ahead on collision, but I want her to know that mommy has always been there for her and she always will be, despite the fact that I have a memory problem. The Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are, are leaving those wars and they are coming back here and they are fighting another war against poverty lack of education, disability, unemployment. Women often serve and experience war just as much as men do. They have issues when they return just as much as men do. Throughout the nation, courts and uh, law enforcement are seeing uh, a lot of veterans entering the system as uh, more and more of our soldiers return. The VA has done a fairly decent job in some areas, but in other areas, particularly in mental health, it's sort of lost its focus. It's hard. It hurts. It's a sad thing, and um, there's going to be a lot of missed good nights. My wife gets deported. My kids, man, they're going to be devastated as she leaves. Whether you're straight or whether you're gay and you have a loved one in Iraq or Afghanistan, we both feel fear and pride and we're very anxious 